You know, you can even make an arm sling look good, Army, I gotta tell you. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I, I was at a party last night and someone came up to me and they go, oh, Army of One. Mm. Uh, oh. And I was like, you know what, that's actually not a bad arm joke. Fair <laughs> enough, fair enough. But not great with a newborn and two kids. Yes, uh, I'm not as helpful as I'm sure my wife would appreciate, but you know, what can I do, you know? <laughs> Uh, I've so enjoyed watching your career uh, recently and, you know, just evolve. You just are getting better and better and better and oh, deeper and richer. And it's really exciting to watch. Thank you. And this movie that you're uh, in Sundance with, I'm going to get the name right, Call, Call Me By Your Name. Yeah. Uh, has already opened to raves. Uh, yeah, I got good reviews. I'm really happy. I'm so happy for Luca Guadagnino, our director, and of course, Timothy Chalamet, Michael Stuhlbard, myself, mm -hmm. Amir Kizar. I mean, everybody who worked on the movie, we just went to this little tiny mm -hmm. Italian town and shot this great movie that felt like a wonderful summer romantic experience for all of us to shoot the movie. Mm -hmm. And then we all went home and everyone went on to their sort of respective lives and now came back and we're sort of reliving the whole thing again, mm -hmm. and it's, it's been great. Mm -hmm. And the director, Luca, has said that he feels this, this movie uh, is the third and, and, and the, the chapter one, two, and three. The, yeah. There was first the one I love, which I just was magnificent, yep. Big Splash, and yep. now this one about yep. love and desire yeah. from every angle. Yeah, j right? j the, the concept of, you know, the, f the force of nature that is desire. And is it mm -hmm. controllable? Is it human? What, is, what are we experiencing? What is, you know, what is mm -hmm. humanity? That whole thing. So it's been really exciting to watch this sort of trilogy. And now mm -hmm. I think the next thing he has coming, Suspiria, is very yeah. different. So your character, you're a, a, a scholar, basically young and Amer very American. Yeah. Uh, that, you know, goes to live with a family in Italy, professor, right? And, it, and it's about a really coming of age, certainly for the son and yeah. for yourself. So I, I, play, I play a graduate student who mm -hmm. goes to stay at this villa uh, with the Perlman family. And Professor Perlman has a student come every, every summer to help with his correspondence and all that stuff. And in, in exchange, he gets to stay in the villa for free and work on his own sort of thesis for his master's or whatever, or his um, doctorate. So I go there to work on my doctorate and, and meet the professor's son. And there's just sort of this unexplained, unsort of unknown attraction and feeling between the two. And you see the process of the coming of age for the professor's son and him sort of feeling and experiencing these emotions that he doesn't really understand or know how to control or know what the deal is. And then Oliver, who's dealing with his mm -hmm. own thing as he's going through this. And it's, it transcends sort of, I think what some people are saying of sort of like, it's, it's a gay romance and mm -hmm. it just becomes this amazing story of humanity and psychology. Mm -hmm. it's, it's great. What do you hope people take away from this? You know, I... And what do you think they're responding to so, so fervently? Because I know there's some scenes. I mean, I've read already. Like it's, it'll go up. There's a, it, there's a whole uh, metaphor around a peach. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, there 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 are definitely some some attention grabbing scenes. But I think what people will react to more than anything else is just that feeling of I think we all have had that one sort of summer, that one mm -hmm. magical time. And if it wasn't a summer, maybe it was a trip that we took or something where you just you get lost in the beauty and majesty of this moment, and you just you just so live in this moment and enjoy it and then it's and then it's gone it's very temporal and it's and it's about taking not only the pain of having that end but also all the good that came with it and 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 keeping that with you for the rest of your life you know mm -hmm.